you know, prayer is one of those things that you can talk about with so much is, especially if you're a man or a woman of prayer. But the thing about the dance of the kingdom is that we cannot qualify ourselves to be experts in anything because we are made by grace. So if anybody tells you that they are self-made, if any person is so accurate in the prophetic or so accurate in the intercessory ministry, if they tell you that they are self-made, they are just being carnal. In this kingdom, nobody is self-made. We are all made by grace. And I always say that it is a privilege to serve God in any office that God has placed you in. So I want us to talk about today the influence and the power of prayer. When you hear people say that prayer made me, what they subconsciously mean is that the power they mingle with in the place of prayer shaped their life and made them who they have turned out to be. I always say that that prayer is the best shift agent that you can incorporate in your life. Prayer is the best shift agent that you can take advantage of as a Christian. The faith-based prayer is a tool in every Christian's hand or every Christian's mouth to open heaven's storehouse. So if your prayer is equipped with faith, because you can make prayer, you can pray for long hours, but unless your prayer is backed up by faith, unless your prayer is rich in faith that prayer doesn't move god to act on your case so as much as we are men and women of prayer our prayer must be rich in faith now i'm going to share with you the benefits and the influence of prayer one of the things that prayer does to us is that prayer quietens our spirit prayer makes our spirit very still and it tunes in our spirit to the spirit of God. You see, the thing is that we are living in a very noisy world. You have got businesses to run. You have got a career to work on. So by the end of the day, you want to spend some time with God. But at that same moment, your spirit is very loud. So what do I mean by your spirit being loud? Your spirit and your mind is still thinking about your job, still thinking about how you're going to pay your school fees, still thinking about how you're going to pay your rent. So every time you want to spend silence time with God. Prayer is what you need to silence your spirit, to silence every other voice and listen to the voice of God. The other advantage of prayer is that prayer brings revelation. The Bible says in Galatians 2, 2 that I went up by revelation. Now you cannot receive revelation unless you are in the place of prayer unless you receive that revelation from the spirit of god your human mind doesn't have the capacity to unveil revelation so unless your spirit is tuned in with the spirit of god you will not receive any revelation the other thing that prayer does to us is that prayer makes us very bold because the more we pray the more time we spend with jesus the more we become like Jesus, the more the mind of Jesus, the character of Jesus begins to be infused in us. You remember in the book of Acts 4, 13, the Bible says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. This kind of boldness that Peter and John had didn't just come by knowledge because the Bible clearly tells us that they perceived that they were ignorant men. But this kind of boldness came by their reason of spending time with Jesus. And for us in this new age, how do we spend time with Jesus? Through prayer. Now the other thing that prayer does is that prayer helps us overcome sin. The Bible tells us in the book of Matthew 26, 41, pray and watch so that you do not fall into temptation. Most Christians argue that I am struggling with sin. I am struggling with this, that, that. The answer is simply because you are not praying. And if you are praying, you are not praying enough. If the Bible has already told us that, Pray and watch so that you do not fall into temptation. If you find yourself falling into temptation, it's because you've not done what the word of God says. Because the word of God, the Bible says that heaven and earth shall pass, but the word of God shall stand fast. The word of God will never return to him void. So if you want the word of God to work for you, you must first know what the word of God says about you. And then you must do what the word of God says. So if the Bible told you, pray and watch so that you don't fall into temptation, 
what do you do i pray and watch therefore temptation will stay away from my life therefore sin will stay away from my life therefore i will be in a position to live a righteous and a holy life hallelujah so prayer will make you bold prayer will stabilize your life prayer will build power within you prayer will help you overcome temptation prayer will take away sin out of your life prayer will help you live a righteous and a holy life prayer will shape your life prayer will shift what needs to be shifted in your life prayer will change your life so if you have been praying and you are not seeing the desired results you need to pray more because the fervent continual prayer of a righteous man availeth much the fervent continual prayer of a righteous man has got so much power to bring extraordinary results